Hello everyone, suppose you want to keep track of product manufacturing, control warehouse distribution or manage e-commerce properly, then you know how important the inventory database is. This is Jihad Rian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create inventory database in Excel. So, the first question occurs, what is an inventory database? An inventory database is a list that keeps a record of products and tracks the turnover. One can easily ensure accurate forecasting by using this kind of database. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the database we want to create here. At first, we have the product ID, their name, their description, unit price and recorder level in column B, C, D, E and F. Now, we'll try to show you three possible methods to solve this problem. Now, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 to describe the whole video. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use Excel templates to create the inventory database. To do that, at first, we'll go for the file section here we'll select the new and here in the search for online templates you'll go and write down the inventory inventory lists now after that if you search it properly then you will see that you have got many options but here you will select the inventory list now, if you click on it, then in the Excel section, you will see that the inventory section will show a option as create. If you click on the create section, you will get inventory list template in a new worksheet. The new worksheet has inventory ID, name, description, unit price and so on many columns. But we need to only keep the columns we want to use here. Suppose we don't want to use the quantity in stock. Then we'll select the whole column, right click on it and select the delete option. You can do the same for everything that you want, don't want to use. After that, you will get a proper template as you want to wish here. After this section, you will see that you have got the template in a new database, but you want to include it in your main file. So you'll go for the worksheet and here you'll right click on it and then you will see a option move or copy. Now in the move or copy section, you will go to the to workbook. Here you will get the option of inventory list or one Excel. If you go and select it properly, then you will go for the one Excel. And now you will get the section of the previous name method and click on it and select create a copy. After clicking OK, then you will get your inventory list here but we want to make it soundful for us. So we'll easily fulfill the sections here. After entering every data here, the data set template will look like this. So that's how we can easily use Excel template for our purpose. In our second method, we want to create inventory database manually. To do that, at first we need to create the headers. So we'll go for the row 4 and here we'll type the headers we need in this section. Now we have headers in the B4 to F4 cells. To make it visually much more presentable, we'll go for the home tab and bold it in the font section. We'll also go for the fill color section and choose a certain color to make it much more attractive. So that's how we can easily create the headers. Now we need to enter the data here. So we'll go for the B5 cell and insert the first product ID, which is in this case A22. After that, we'll press the enter button and now we'll move to our next section. Now the second ID name is A25. And after that, we'll move on and that's how we can fulfill every cell of this section. Now we have entered the data in the B column and to make it visually more presentable we'll select the cells and go for the home tab in the font section we'll select the borders and here we'll go for the all borders option 
you can also go for the alignment and also select the alignment as you have required now after entering data for every column the data set will look like this if we want to change the font we can also select the whole data range by using the mouse go for the home tab and in the font section you will get the font size here you can easily change the font size according to your wish now we want to create the inventory database manually and to do that at first we'll select the headers here in the row 4 go for the editing section and here in the sort and filter section you will find the filter option if you click on it then you will got the drop down list according to your wish suppose now you want to sort the whole database according to their unit price so we'll go for the unit price drop down list and here you will select the smallest value to largest value if you click on it then you will get your perfect sorting value here so that's how you can easily go for creating inventory database manually in excel in the last method, we'll create a simple in and out inventory database. Here, we'll create the inventory list from a product list and we'll show that in the received items. At first, in the product list, we have used the previous method and we have already created the drop down list like the previous one. Now, we'll do the same by using the received items to get the out also. To do that, at first, we'll select the whole data range of B5 to E12 and name the data set here. We'll set the name as the list. So write down the list here and press the enter to get the table name as list. Now we'll move on to our received list in the G5 cell. In the G5 cell, we'll insert our first date here. Now we'll insert the first date as the 5th January. So write down 05. 0 1 and press the enter button then you'll get your perfect date here you can do manually the same for the next cell also write down 0 7 and then 0 1 it will show 7 january like this you can do the same for every cell select both the cell and now drag down to get the same result for the whole column in the column age we'll insert the id product name here so after inserting we have got the product id names in every cell now in the next cases we don't want to use them or type them manually here we want to use a very special function which is the vlookup and by using it we want to show the result for the received items so here we'll go for the i5 cell and in this section we'll insert the vlookup function the VLOOKUP function basically looks for a certain leftmost column of a certain value and returns the same row or column with the specification. So now in this section, we'll go for the four parameters. Here we have lookup value, table array, column index number and range lookup. So at first, we'll select the lookup value, which is in this case, the H5 cell. Now we'll move on to our next section, which is the table array. Now we want to search the product list section which we have named in our first portion as list. So write down list here, it is showing it, so we'll select it as our table array. In the next section we have the column index number. That means if the formula finds any kind of match with the table range we have selected then which column it will show. Remember that if it finds any kind of match then the first B column will be shown as the first column index, the second will be the C column as second column index number, the description of D column will be third and E column will be the fourth. As we are trying to get the name here which is in the C column that means column index number 2. So we will write down 2 as a column index number and as we are trying to get the exact match so select it and now press the enter button. We have got our desired result in the i5 cell now drag down the formula to use it to every cell now we'll use the same formula for the next portion also at first we'll copy the formula of this section Control plus c in the keyboard and now we'll move on to the j5 cell in the j5 cell we'll insert this formula but this time we don't want to get the result for the name this time we want to get the result for the description which is in the column index number 3. So we'll just 
go for the column index number in this formula and replace it with 3 as we are trying to get the third result of the column. Now if we click the enter button then we have got the proper description as we want from the product list. Drag down the formula to get the result from here. We can also do the same for the K5 cell also. We will again enter the same formula and this time we are trying to get the result for the fourth column index number as the unit price. So we will press the enter button to get the same price here. Now you will see that it has showing the manual price here but we can easily make the dollar sign here also. At first we will select the whole K column, go for the home tab. In the number section we will got the general section. Here we will go for more number formats and now you have the format details here. In the custom settings you will go for the dollar signs here and now click on it and press the OK to get the proper unit price according to your wish. For the recorder level, you can go and easily input the values manually. Like in the first section, we'll insert 2, second 3 and do the rest by same. Now, after completing the whole database, the recorder level will look like this. So now, you have got the product list and at the right side, you have got the received item list. You can easily compare both of them and choose where are your inventory list going on. So that's how you can easily create the inventory database in Excel. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.